everybody, Joe Conkley in the shop. Today we're going to look at a 1973 Martin D35. I'm going to glue the pick guard on. First, I've dry clamped my whole situation here so that I know that it's going to work. So let's just take these clamps off there. This is a series of clamps in the sound hole here to glue the pick guard nice and flat. If this works out properly, I lay out my clamps such that I can put them on in a reasonable order. So this is the outside call of the pick guard. There's some pencil drawings on here to imitate the bracing on the inside. And this is the inside call, and it's spank this is where the braces are. All these cutouts are for braces and other little pieces, so it misses all that stuff. And doesn't the clamping pressure goes on on the inside on this part and on the outside call, the whole thing gets clamped. So there's my pick guard just sitting there dry, reasonably flat. And now what I'm going to do go to my hide glue which has been heating up here. I'm also going to turn my heat lamp on, specifically heat that peak picker a little bit, actually the back surface of it so it's nice and warm. That's the way hide glue works. You melt it. It's a granular hide glue which is actually made from the hides of animals. You mix it with water, turn it into a gel. I heat, the, I heat it up so it becomes very uniform, and I keep it in a small jar like this in the refrigerator so it's actually jello. Take it out of the refrigerator, heat it in this little double boiler type thing here to 150 degrees, and now it's a nice liquidy warm glue. The key to this whole situation as far as making the glue work is to get everything glued up and exactly in place where I want it before the glue begins to turn into a gel again as it cools off. If you try to work the glue while it's starting to turn into a gel, it will fail. So heat is uh, important to the whole thing. I'm gonna try and heat this surface up here. Um, I don't want to heat it so much that the uh, um, finish is compromised though. So just enough so that it gets warm to my touch here. And the same with the uh, pick guard itself. Get them both warmed up just a bit so it helps me extend that time there. And I'm gonna aim it right there. Now I'm pretty much ready to go here. Take my brush, dip it in the liquid hide glue here and brush it on. I can be fairly generous with this, but the more generous I am, the sloppier the cleanup is, which, you know, so again, it's all about, like life, happy mediums. Both surfaces coated with the glue. Now I set the pick guard on. The challenge with this part is that the hide glue itself is fairly slippery. It tends to slide. The pick guard will tend to slide, especially when I start applying clamping pressure. So I want it to tack up just a little bit. This is warm water that I have in my bath there. You can see the pick guard already sliding there. And I'm using that warm water to wipe up some of the excess before I get going here. The pick guard's sliding around and so I have to let the glue tack up just a little bit and high glue tends to be very tacky. You touch it right out of there and it's very sticky which is one of the beauties of it but I need to let it tack up just enough so that it won't slide around, but not so much that the whole process is starting to gel again. And I'm gonna get my heat lamp out here and 
try to extend that jelly. So it's just starting to tack up there nice. Place that on there. Get my interior call here, which must fit in, the sound, in and out of the sound hole. That's a key. Take my first clamp, slide it on here. I'm going to put this right in the middle of the or close to the middle of the pickguard you can with light pressure so I can see what's going on so it's not moving around on me too much. And very slowly clamp that down. Look at that squeeze out. Now I can put some other clamps on this part. I need to do fairly quickly because I want to get as many Clamps in place. How many clamps is too many? You can never have enough clamps. If you can fit more, you can use more. All right, all my clamps are in place. And now I'm just going to make sure they're tightened down nice and even. Not overly tight, but definitely snug and a little past snug. All right, now I'll take my cleanup brush with the warm water and go around the perimeter of that. And if not completely cleaning up any of the squeeze out, at least I'm thinning it out such that when I go to take the clamps off here, which um, Ideally, I would let this set a minimum of 12 hours or overnight. That's usually what I do. Put it on today, even if I glue this at the end of my day, I can still take it off at the beginning of my day tomorrow. And then I can go over the whole surface with warm water again and clean up any excess glue that's formed. Um, and uh, that is one of the nice things about high glue is that warm water will tend to soften the glue in pretty much any state. Um, the older it is, the harder it is to soften it. But I think we're done here. There we go. Pick guard glued on heat lamp turned off. Uh, thanks for joining us in the shop today. Uh, remember to like and share on Facebook and we'll see you in a few weeks.